Hello everybody and welcome again to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the best watch I currently own and shocker it's a Casio. Now as you can see this is on a different band than most of the ones you see. They come with a resin band that matches the whatever color the case is. In my case it would have been black. But uh, a buddy of mine at work actually collects watches as well and he's like oh I have a bunch of watch bands that I'm never gonna use again so I was wondering if you can have them and I you know gracefully accepted it and I couldn't be happier because now I'm just mixing matching stuff and but I think this is the best combination it's kind of like a gray suede material and it really makes the whole watch kind of pop a bit more it kind of feels like it's like a like a DeLorean on my hand because of the the suede and the and the resin but uh you know and you know fun fact this watch was also in uh Back to the Future not this specific one but this type of model the calculator watch and I mean, let's get down to it. Now, this is a digital watch, so that's another plus. It's easier to read, you know, a quick time, like, hey, what time is it? Oh, it's 3.34, so, you know, immediate <laughs> satisfaction. It's quirky looking. It has these, the calculator is functional. I don't really use it because it's more of an aesthetic thing, but you can, it's just kind of a pain because the buttons are so, so tiny. But it's a thing, it has a, has a couple of alarm settings, so you just kind of, in order to go through them, you press the bottom one, and you kind of just have to cycle through each one with the top button, and now you have your dates. So the dates is kind of weird, it's the year, the month, and then the day there, and then you just kind of cycle through, and then we're back here. And then you go here, and I kind of forgot how it is to cycle through, like stopwatch motions. No, I think it's just... There you go. That's a calculator. That's your alarm. And that's back to time. And that's a stopwatch. And here we are. So pretty cool stuff. Oh. And yeah, I mean, what I like the most about this is that it's really light. I know I like to have, like for my quartz watches and, you know, ones that have metal bezels, I like to have some weight to it. But since I know this is a primarily plastic piece, uh, the lightness does feel great. It feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. And it's a great just daily watch. I wear it all the time at work. It uh, it doesn't feel like it's getting in the way of stuff because I have to wear, you know, lab coats and stuff. But it's it feels you know really really solid. It's it's honestly the best bang for your buck. You can find these on Amazon for under twenty five dollars right now, honestly. And they come in a variety of colors. There's, I've seen some that are the beige color. I was thinking about getting that one, but I just kind of stuck with the traditional black. I feel like you can work with more colored bands that way. But there's the beige, there's the blue. And if you really want to get fancy, they have the data bank collection. They ha it's uh, an all metal one. So it comes in either silver or gold. And uh, I believe it's on a bracelet. And it looks really awesome. Uh, but that I think those are running around between 50 and 60 dollars so still very cheap still pretty affordable for a watch and it looks really nice i'm not a huge fan of bracelets because they tend to pinch hairs i kind of like to stick to uh leather bands suede or nato straps nato straps are kind of eh. eh they're they're good for like military watches but i really like uh my leather and suede straps and i mean Honestly, this might just have to be a short one. How it compares to my other watches, this is a 10 out of 10. Uh, I never get tired of looking at it. It always looks cool. It always looks, you know, vintage. And honestly, Casio's, the, at least the small resin ones, they hold a soft spot. Because I already saw my dad with um, with Casio all the time. I don't remember exactly what model it is, but I think I can still probably find it. And that thing is beat up but it still runs and you know it's it just shows uh how well these are made i mean the battery's supposed to last 10 years and am i gonna have this watch in the next 10 years yeah 100 percent. i'm keeping this until it dies god forbid anything happens that you know melts the resin because i mean resin is a very cheap material and scratches and you know it's not gonna look as pretty in 10 years but uh i'll keep it as long as it still goes and honestly, even if it does crap out on me, it's only 25 bucks. It's the, it's a watch that is not a throwaway watch because of just how much I enjoy it. But I mean, if stuff were to happen to it, it's not a big loss. You can just get another one. 
or and then get a different variety of colors you might even want to upgrade over to the metal one it's a uh, it's just a fantastic watch and I may sound like a Casio fanboy and that's because I honestly am <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much nothing left to say. Uh, I want to honestly just start collecting more Casios. There's another one that I had my eye on, the Casio time, World Time, I think, World Time. It's, I think, the one that James Bond had in one of his movies. But, um, uh, can't really remember which one it is. And then there is the Casio that Ridley Scott wore and Alien. That one looks really awesome, but I think all of those, the world time I think is still like under $25, so that's pretty reasonable. But I think the one that Ridley Scott wore, the A100, or no, the F100 is no longer made, but they made the homage watch to it, which is the A100. But that one's around, actually around 50 bucks. I don't think you can get it here in the States. Every time I looked on Amazon, it says like, oh, it's gonna ship from uh, from the UK. So, so a little longer wait time, but pretty solid stuff. Uh, but yeah, Casio is just a, a great brand, a great, uh, I wouldn't say it's an intro level brand. I mean, it is and it isn't. I think calling it that kind of does it a disservice just because I, I like all of their, honestly, I like most of their stuff. If it, you know, it goes down the crapper, not that bad of a deal because then you can just go buy another one. They're not, they're expendable, but people tend to want to keep them more. I mean, I definitely want to keep this one for as long as possible. This is such a great watch. And then, yeah, you can mix and match it. I think after this suede kind of starts fading away, I'm gonna replace it with the NATO strap. And I bought like a toolkit that'll like, you know, just change out the the pins to make it fit a, a wider strap or, or yeah, we'll see how it goes. But uh, so far I'm really liking it on the suede. I still have the old resin band in case stuff happens, but I think it looks really nice. It really makes it pop, easy to wear and it's just durable as all as all heck, man. I just like I bang this up against the wall sometimes, not because of you know, not because I'm mad or anything, but you know stuff happens, and it still it still kicks. It's still good. But yeah, that's pretty much gonna conclude today's video. Uh, if you're curious more on the, how this watch functions, I welcome you to check out the Casio website. And there's other videos on YouTube where they can show you like. How to use it more i'm not gonna go through it because i feel it's not really necessary for me since i don't really use most of the features i usually just i really just have this for the aesthetic but there's other videos out there that probably explain things better than i do but yeah i mean this is really a really solid buy and ironically enough it just happens to be the cheapest watch i own you know it just goes to show that just because something is really expensive doesn't make it you know probably the best thing you'll ever have you know try be open-minded Look at some of the cheaper cheaper watch models that most brands offer, and, and who knows, you might be doing yourself a service, saving some money, and finding a piece that you really like. Um, but yeah, that's gonna do it for me today. Thank you very much, and have a good day, everybody.